So what is going on guys? Welcome to Two Points Hospital. I've been so excited to make this video and release this video to you guys because I absolutely loved Theme Hospital and I couldn't wait to play Two Point Hospital. Now I have been able to play about three hours of Two Point Hospital and I must say I absolutely love the game. But before we do get into my opinion and my review of Two Point Hospital, you guys are going to want to know the release date, right? Well, I can officially confirm the release date for Two Point Hospital is August the 30th. That's just over one month away, guys. So it's just around the corner until you guys can get hands-on with Two Point Hospital and have a lot of fun. Now, there may be a few people watching this video who do not know what, what Two Point Hospital is. Well, Two Point Hospital is a hospital simulation game where you want to build and manage your own hospital. But there is a lot of crazy, wacky illnesses that these patients have. It's not just your normal illnesses that you do have in a normal hospital. A few examples of this is cubism, is where a person is completely made out of cubes, and that lightheadedness where the person's head is literally a light bulb. And to cure it, you need to unscrew the light bulb head, replace it with a normal head, and voila. That's how you cure lightheadedness. You can even get little rodents running around your hospital as well, but no, 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 no. It's not rats, it's not mice, it's mustaches. That's right, you can have mustaches running around your hospital, and it's humour like that what I absolutely love about Two Point Hospital. It's definitely great for kids, but it can also relate to adults as well, and it's a really fun game to play. Now, I was able to play Two Point Hospital for about three hours at Sega HQ in London. Thank you so much for inviting me out there. And I was only allowed to play on the first four levels, but honestly, in that time frame that I was playing, I didn't even get around to playing on the fourth level. That's how much I was enjoying the first three levels, exploring everything, and to be honest, I even only touched on those levels as well. There is so much more potential with each of those levels, and the fact that I believe there is probably over 20 levels in this game at launch, you are going to be able to play this game for hours and hours and hours without getting bored. There are so many different types of levels that you can have as well. Some levels are in hot climates near a volcano, so you want to be using air conditioners to keep your patients cool. There's other locations where it's very, very cold, so you want to be using radiators to keep them warm. There is industrial locations where there's a lot of factories going on, so there could be a lot of toxic fumes in the air, which could affect illnesses that patients have. And one thing what I really do love is the level system is kind of joined together. So if you're playing one of the earlier levels but you've not quite got three stars on that you can progress through the game unlock some of the later levels which can unlock new illnesses new ways to kind of diagnose illnesses and cure illnesses you can then go back to the earlier levels and implement those new diagnosis machines or cure machines into the earlier levels that way you can build more reputation get those three stars and overall perfect previous hospitals that you have played it's not like i've played this hospital i've moved on i can't go back to that hospital you can go back to any hospital you want to and improve it as much as you like now one key thing which i do want to let you guys know is there is a currency in the game which i'm not exactly sure the name of it but it looks a little bit like a coin with a letter k on it so for this video i'm going to refer to it as a k coin now there are multiple ways that you can earn this currency the main one is you can actually earn this currency from doing career goals now in the main two point currency map you can see career in the bottom left if you select that you will then get a whole bunch of goals which you can complete while you are playing two point hospital once this is completed you will get this k coin currency and you can use this to purchase loads of cool items that you can have around your hospital now in the first four levels i didn't have radiators installed so of course you will need to use this k coin currency to be able to unlock radiators so you can kind of choose whatever item you want in the item selection which i didn't actually realize at first because i'm used to unlocking things as you progress i had no idea you unlocked them with this currency 
but you can unlock them in whatever order you want to provided that you do have the currency available. Another way that you can earn the K coin currency is your staff can actually give you challenges as you are playing through the game. For example, a staff member may request a staff room to be a star rating of level 4. You can accept that and then you can go on and try and complete that challenge. You will get yourself some K coin currency, but also you'll get another bonus as well. That staff member or potentially all staff members will work harder for a period of time. So it's a win-win situation. You want to be completing these career goals. You want to be completing these staff goals as well. And overall, get as much of this K currency as you possibly can. So you can unlock as many items as you can in your hospital. The training element is also one key thing which you can have in the game to help your other staff members learn certain training traits. Now, if you have one staff member that knows one of those traits, they can then teach other staff members, which I think is really, really good. Or, if you don't actually have a staff member that has a trait, you can actually hire someone to come in and actually teach them, which is something which I think is really, really cool. That means you can overstaff, you can have some of these staff members in the staff room, pay someone to come in to train them, they'll then get those traits, and then they can walk around the hospital. It's really, really good, I really like it, and it's such an improvement on a theme hospital on the training side of things that it's just a really really good feature and you're going to want to use this especially in the later levels to make sure your staff members have the best traits possible. I did find myself being a little bit crowded while I was playing so I've definitely got to learn some layouts for my hospitals. A lot of people really seem to like the bookshelves as well so keep that in mind. I've had about like seven to eight people queuing for one bookshelf while they're waiting to go into a room like a GP's office or something like that so it definitely can be very very chaotic well that's part of the fun isn't it you want to try and get the hospital to be as efficient as possible and you're going to hit some bumps along the road but there we go that's just a tiny little snippet of a two point hospital i've actually just been given a code so i can actually play the first four levels as much as i want to on my youtube channel or on my live streams as well so if you want to go follow my twitch the link's down in the description i'm going to be streaming a whole bunch of this over the next few days so make sure you go and follow if you have not already but hopefully you guys did enjoy today's short video of my little review of two point hospital absolutely love this game Cannot wait for full launch. I'm sure a lot of you guys are in the same boat as me. So make sure you guys get that pre-order or put it on your wish list on Steam so you can play it as soon as it comes out. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, drop a like down below. My name is Zero, and I'll catch you guys next time.